For over two years now, woke activists have been doing anything and everything they can to stop the success of Hogwarts Legacy, and it's had no effect. For over two years, they've been calling for a boycott because J.K. Rowling said mean things on Twitter. She's a bigot, and I can't support this game, and neither should you. But it's had no effect. This game is said to be one of the top selling games of 2023, hands down. And that's why when they started announcing some voice actors for Hogwarts Legacy, some people got excited, especially when Simon Pegg was cast. Simon Pegg is the Hogwarts headmaster in Hogwarts Legacy. Simon Pegg will portray Phineas Black, the deeply unpopular ancestor of Harry Potter hero Sirius Black. Also the same Phineas Black who was on uh, the, the painting that was on Dumbledore's wall that he talked to. That same character, that's who Simon Pegg will portray. Well, there's a problem for Simon Pegg because despite the fact that he's voice acting in this game, I'm sure he'll do a fine job. He has also multiple times professed his love for social justice and identity politics. He is a leftist. He's talk, He's used political talking points constantly. So now Simon Pegg has put himself in this position by joining Hogwarts Legacy to be the target of all the ire from this woke mob. Simon Pegg joins Hogwarts Legacy inflaming the internet. Hot Fuzz and Star Trek actor Simon Pegg joins the controversial Hogwarts Legacy game. Hogwarts Legacy has been a hotbed of controversy since its reveal, and that continues with the reveal that Simon Pegg is joining the game's cast. The news has got a mixed reception from fans, as Pegg has been open about his progressive beliefs, whereas J.K. Rowling continues her anti-trans stance. This is just fake, all right? This is fake news. You can pull up statement after statement, tweet after tweet from J.K. Rowling about how she supports trans people and fights for their rights and the right to exist and everything. She simply believes that there's also a difference between tra trans women and biological women. That's it. That's all that she's saying. That is the extent of her belief. She has espoused uh, very progressive beliefs as well, but it's just a complete bastardization of reality from these people in the media. While Rowling isn't involved with the game's creative process, the Harry Potter author will be making money from the final product due to her various comments. The trans communities asked its allies to boycott the game. Considering how Peg has taken a stance against the Tories, this isn't a great look for him. And you go through and you can see they even show in this article some examples. Here's the announcement from Hogwarts Legacy. Please welcome Simon Pegg as Headmaster Black, hashtag Hogwarts Legacy. And look at some of the reactions here in the response. Supporting a transphobe's work that keeps her relevant in the media is bad, actually, Simon. I hope you're really, really ashamed of yourself. And no trans people all over the world are deeply disgusted by your decision. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that he's going to be really upset about that. Uh, here you go. Simon Pegg sure did that whole performative song and dance about hating the Tories, then signed on to star in the game about how elf slavery is good and that also emboldens one of the richest turfs in the country, huh? It goes on and on from these freaks, right? Uh, these people with pronouns in their bios, you're going to see exactly what you'd expect. This has trans flag in there. Uh, she, they, trans flag, rainbow flag, 21 BLM. It's everything you would expect. Simon Pegg, I'm disappointed you've helped J.K. Rowling make more money by agreeing to be a voice actor in her Hogwarts Legacy game. Uh, what, what do you have here? Oh, what do you know? She, her. It's the same fucking thing. Sorry to hear that. I thought he was a better person. Should we go to the bio? Oh, he, him. What do you know? Ah, can't lie. Simon Pegg in Hogwarts game has really disappointed me. He's an actor. He can choose whatever projects he likes, but the game is inextricably tainted by J.K. Rowling's bigotry and trans hate. And it's a shame to see him tangling himself up in that uh, person. He, him, uh, man, it's very predictable, isn't it? Simon Pegg being in Hogwarts game is proof that UK dorks just cannot avoid being involved in transphobic shit. Should we take a chance? Hey, look, there's one person that does not have pronouns in their bio that's shitting on Simon Pegg. And this is a joke. It's going to have absolutely no effect. I think that Simon Pegg overall, he is a leftist. He's shit on Donald Trump. He's been very uh, outspoken about his progressive beliefs. But at the same time, I think he's going to bring more people to the game than push people away. Certainly. And it's not going to stop Hogwarts Legacy in any way. These people, these woke losers continue to get absolutely pissed off because they can't stand that J.K. Rowling's going to be making money off this. Yes, she's going to be making a shit ton of money. But when it comes to Simon Pegg, you know, when you when you you know portray yourself as this bastion of progressivism, as hey, look at me, look how woke I am, look how virtuous I am, 
and then you go and do something like this. Yeah, these people that you're pandering to are going to call you out. Luckily for him, it's virtually nobody. These people have no power. They have no spending power. They are a vast, vast minority, and they don't represent the gaming community. They don't represent Harry Potter fans, and they certainly don't represent the vast majority of people who are going to be buying Hogwarts Legacy. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.